what's up guys today we're talking all about why Fenrir is broken in Rainbow Six Siege so it's gonna be an operator guide of sorts we're gonna be talking all about how Fenrir is strong why he's one of the strongest defenders in the game and uh how you can use him yourself let's get to it all right we're gonna go through a couple maps and show Fenrir placements while we place them there and uh go through that and then we're gonna show you guys some clips so loadout mp7 versus Taiga, I obviously prefer the MP7. I run a hollow and a flash. Bailiff to set up the site. You can have a pistol, but you should always have a bailiff to set up the site. And you can have barb or bulletproof cam. Barb is going to help you most of the time, but uh, bulletproof cams are nice when you need them. So cafe, top floor. We're going to talk about how to place these traps and how to effectively use them to for attempting to defuse your most bomb. value you can get out of them. So here, I'm going to place one right there. Place one here, one here, and then I'm gonna place another here, and then one more right here. And then I'd place my barb on white. So I like to place my barb together, so I place both barbs together. So now I'm white staircase is covered, and you will be able to play off that. And now I can play as Fenrir playing like this position, like around here after I you know, make the rotate with my bailiff. Fenrir can do it all, basically. So, how do I... Wh which ones do I activate? They ask that. And here's how I would activate them. I'm going to have three active at any given time. I'm going to have the ones most forward active at the start. And I'll have one on the skylight active. This is kind of my backup one. I don't expect that one to get shot or destroyed until these are dealt with. And I may rotate that one somewhere else, but now I can just kind of chill and I can just, you know, I can tell my team, no one's top red yet. No one's new Balk. Because if an enemy drops here, they will activate this. So I have complete control of this section of the map without having to be over there at all. Yeah, they're able to destroy those traps, but they're going to have to get gas first, which will show me on the left side that it's active. And if one of them gets destroyed, I can leave the other one up. Or let's say they, they take over CS, they deactivate both those two. I would move the skylight one and activate that one for the walk-in. Or if I planned on, let's say I planned on swinging over here, I would activate this one and I could swing. All I have to do is watch ticket. I know they're not at that right door yet or wait for that to be active and swing them while they're gassed. Pretty simple setup. Pretty easy to do and very, very strong. Same map, now we're on cafe. So here's how I place these Fenrirs. One right there, one right here, one reception. I place Barb over here just so we know about the hopping. I don't want to place a Fenrir over here necessarily. Boom. Let's do the Barb for the walking just to help my team for later. And then I place two of them near bottom white. You guys have watched me on stream, you've seen me play this position several times. Here's why. I'm going to activate reception. And the reception window hop in. So now I know if they do anything in this general area. I know if they ever come in, I have everything on con controlled in, in whiskey. But if I feel like that one might walk down brown, I'll deactivate that one, activate that one. And then like, you know, they would get gas or like I would see the swing. So I'll leave that one active for now. And then looking at white, so there's two you can do. I like to have that one active first because if they walk in, I can just pressure them like that. But if they, if I feel like they're already in and they're going in through the wall, I'll activate this one so they get gassed as they come around the corner. So they're not gonna be able to really see this one. They'll they'll come forward, get gassed like here, and either go up the staircase or they'll push forward anyways, trying to win the firefight with me. And if you're far enough back, I mean, they're not even gonna be able to see you. To, deal with you this is a really strong position for Fenrir and there's so many different situations like this that you can just find on almost every single map here's another setup on border holding top floor I'm gonna place both my barb on metal we know when they walk up I'm not gonna really deal with that then I'm gonna open this door and I'm gonna throw a gas you have been spotted by right hostile. there Fall back. I'm gonna throw a gas right here Run over here, throw a gas on break door, throw a gas on the window, 
and right here then as i play this i'm able to just you know i'll activate that and the window and it, i can watch toppies very easily if they ever walk in i'll know all i have to do is check one side if they're there i mean this is an easy hallway to watch most people aren't going to push from this way if they do it's really just a quick little auto pre-fire out i'll be able to check it anything else they'll get gas as they walk in now over here break is this if you feel like you're getting pressured it's nice to be able to just activate that one so you don't you don't have to worry about the door as much but most of the time i'll leave these two inactive and if i swing this is what i'm gonna do when i swing activate that one and then swing they're not going to notice this one as easily most people aren't really looking up there you can't really see it you're not really looking at that one that one will catch people off guard and if they do get gassed by it they're gonna be gassed and not really able to defend themselves effectively if they if you feel like they're getting close you activate this one just to gas them before you like take a firefight just to distract them a little bit so really easy way to hold cc on border very aggressive hold though Your hey, new console is in ranked i'm gonna have a couple setups for this map as well so here I'm going to place two barb in the staircase. We'll have plenty of time to know if someone's on the staircase and also place gas there as well as there, just in case. And then we go into archives, place the gas there and I'll activate that one at the start. That one's going to stay active. And then here you have two options. You reinforce that wall and reinforce that wall. I would probably do both and then you can just leave a gas right here and also i would activate that one just so you don't have to worry about that backside whatsoever then i come over to yellow because a lot of people are going to push through yellow and i would leave a gas you don't want to leave it out too close to this door because it will just be dealt with by attackers fairly easily you want it in a spot that's going to be very annoying for them to have to deal with i'd probably place it like so because i can act like if anyone's close or i'm close and i want to swing this it doesn't activate instantly i know that nobody's in this little tuck and i can just come out and free fire the door or they're going to be on the other tuck so very easy to hold yellow with just that trap and if i don't want to activate it at all i can just leave the spiral one on and now i am watching everything you have to make sure be wary of the hatches though i would most of the time when ranked i run up there and reinforce these hatches or have a teammate reinforce the hatches and i reinforce that outside wall so they literally can't do anything in the back but if they do with my traps i'll know they're coming from a mile off so ratting is basically non-existent they're going to have to purely focus the front Once all right now we're consulate top, top floor i'll place one right there for the yellow swing come over here I'm gonna be the, the main person holding spiral and the other staircases. I'll place one there. Then I'll place another one there. That one I'm not gonna activate unless I'm ready to swing. If I come over here, I'll place two barb in the staircase. And then also a trap at the top. So if they destroy this barb, I can still have that gas ready. Then I'll just come over here and I'll throw this. This gas is just in case they are just swinging in this window go for a plant i can just check that corner at any moment if it activates i know they're there if it doesn't they're not there i'll leave that one active for my team and for spiral you have two options most of the time i'll have this one active the entire time because they can't really destroy this unless they go to the skylight which a lot of people aren't going to do and even if they start to shoot that from the skylight what you can do is just hide it a little bit bit better like let's say i mean like so. so you'll know if they're in the window or if they're coming up spiral at all and this one if i feel like they're in this area most of the time they are going to destroy this one but i'm also going to have that one active the entire time so if they do destroy this one i'll deactivate this because remember my barb is there and i can activate this one if that one activates i'll know they're on that spiral staircase if it doesn't that means they're on the vending machine so i know they're on that angle so the, the entire point of fenrir it's to isolate and gather intel so you isolate the angle so you know what angles are safe and which ones aren't and to make the enemy feel like they just cannot pressure up and if they do they're walking into their death all right now we're going to go through some clips as Fenrir. this is one of the setups you guys saw earlier i put one in small bakery instead though so here 
We have one coming white. I have that white Fenrir still up. The one thing that a lot of people need to learn about Fenrir is the lack of intel is still intel. So I know he's not pushing in. I know he's not walking in or pushing me because that Fenrir is not active. The lack of intel is still intel. So this is why I love Fenrir because I can watch so many different angles all at the same time. No other operator can do that besides someone with a camera or like Ella Mines, I guess. But LO Mines, you can still defend yourself fairly well. Fenrir's give you the option of not being able to defend yourself whatsoever. And you get the MP7. Get him out with the cross replacement. So now I'm just looking for them. They decide to go up top and I circle all the way around and they take control. They go down brown and through white. I soak around and we find the ash. The last one is near whiskey. Keep circling around. Boom. So I wouldn't say Fenrir is a, like, I wouldn't use Fenrir as a roamer, but biggest thing of Fenrir is being fairly close to sight to be able to circle around it at least with all your gas and your canisters because you have all the intel of your gas. So make sure you're vocal about where they're coming in from around the site and put yourself in a position where they're going to have to deal with you. Here's another clip of Fenrir on the border setup with some variation. So here I know one's on the catwalk. And instead of activating the Fenrir, I just try to go for the shots and I do end up hitting the guy on the balcony. So now they're pushing site direct. So I had a top setup. So I was hoping that my team could hold the site, hold the window, but they do get pushed. So now I have to double that back down. But Fenrir is a two speed. And you have an MP7, so don't be afraid of taking firefights. Just keep your crosser up. I don't have any util that I can use here in this situation, so I just have to use my gun. I take one out. We look for the last, and we do find him as I hide from the fuse charge. <laughs> here we have Fenrir again, but on Skyscraper. So... Ash is trying to walk up house, which I kind of had a feeling because I, I heard an Ash charge go off. He ran in, I take him out. So here, they're taking over Terrace. I have my gas outside so I know no one's close. I love throwing the gas outside. It's extremely good for spawn peaks or anything like this, where if they hit it, then I know they're there, then I know they're close. But I know that no one's close because it's not active. So all I do have to do is run out for free and peek long. No one's there though. I don't know it's a geisha just off a glance because that fender is still up not shot and the window is closed if the window was open and the fender is not shot the chances are that someone's outside the window but not in and if the fender is shot then i clearly know they're in so teammate gets killed I, I knew that one was probably underneath if no one was geisha at this point so i dropped down instantly and uh we find another pick So Terrace window hopped in and we find him taking him out. Remember guys, biggest takeaway that I want to leave you guys here today with is the lack of Intel. If you still have a mine up and it has not been triggered, that means a lot. It's not just, oh, it was useless. You are gathering a lot of Intel. So you know where you have to put your efforts and energy and focusing towards. So Fender, I place a lot of my traps in situations where someone might not show up. But now I know with 100% certainty that no one will. If they do, they'll hit my gas, they'll hit my traps, and I'll know instantly that they're doing some rat stuff. And right now, the rat meta is very strong in Siege. Having a good defense against the rat meta is extremely strong, and that's why Fenrir really shines in almost any elo in ranks. Here's the last clip I'm going to leave you guys with. So, Fenrir again. Amaru comes up. I know no one's close because my gas is out there and we take him out. And we're trying to rush a little bit. So here I have my Fenrir. I, I move that Fenrir over to the terrace door so I know when someone's going to push through there. So I know 100% certainty that no one's coming through that terrace door. So I don't even have to look up at this point. And we still have the house cam. So there's just so much intel. Remember, lack of intel is intel. So now I know that they just have to be underneath me.
I, I'm unsure of how many are underneath me at this point, so I'm playing it fairly passive. I hear them start to activate the Banshee. I swing out, take one out. He is down. One was holding me from long. I try to get the shot, but I won't be able to hit that. So I circle around to finish off the down as well as getting in a better position against that guy. Finish him up before we get a revive. I keep circling. Now we know where he's at. General vicinity. He's close. And instead of peeking where I just where I just got shot from, I wait for him to push me and I pre-fire where his head is going to be. And he goes down just like that. I've been asked a lot how strong I think Fenrir is. I would say that Fenrir is a low S tier op, high A tier op. He's one of the strongest defenders in the game. He doesn't have a true counter. His best counter, I would say, is either Twitch or Brava to get his mines. But even so, burns a lot of time on the clock. And you're not really sure where all five of his mines are going to be at. I definitely see Fenrir getting nerfed in the future. But right now, he's insanely powerful and honestly does not have that many counters. Because you walk into the gas, you can barely defend yourself. The entire team knows where the entire defending team knows where you're at and they're able to swing accordingly to deal with you if you're playing aggressive players and they have a fender and you get gas assume death is headed your way all right guys that's it for today make sure to subscribe drop a comment and leave a like down below for more peace out until next time